Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Check out this guy, Kayaneki, going mental. <laughs> I just had some mechanoid assault drones come in to say hi, these two little slugs. And this guy is trying to do them by himself. I don't even know what colonies he, he's from, but he's, he's having a good blast. you got to give it to him. Two of them against one guy and he's still alive. He's... Okay, now, he, now he's not alive. <laughs> he tried. He tried. Well, it looks like they're coming into attack. So let's get ready for a uh, full-on assaultage. Let's grab all our villagers and get ready. I don't know why I call them villagers. I know that they're colonists. But I just can't help it. It's a thing. All right, everybody. Get ready. It's about to get a little bit deep right here. These guys have uh, miniguns, so they shouldn't be that bad. I'm like, the charge rifles are the one things that really uh, do me in. But they're fairly slow, and they don't seem to want to go ahead and go over this stuff. Which is great, because I don't think they can actually fire from much further back than that. Okay, maybe they can. <laughs> oh my god, Toxos just got insta-gibbed. Uh, who's got a rubbish gun? Uh... I guess you can rescue him. Man, that, that didn't go as intended. I <laughs> didn't expect you to just get blown up like that. Did Toxos die? Oh my lord. We've actually lost Toxos. Wow. We just lost a guy. I ain't gonna lie. I totally did not expect that to happen just then. Wow. <laughs> what a way to start an episode, right? We come in. We're just having a good night's sleep. Everyone was chilling. And then all of a sudden we lose Toxos. And Roughchild and Bridges are slightly injured. Well, I actually think Roughchild is slightly injured anyway. But hey-ho. Well, that really can't be helped. It, it kind of, it's a, it's a kick in the teeth. But it's uh, it's something. This one should go a lot easier because we have all our people there. So he's gonna, just going to get mashed. Yeah, he got mashed. Good stuff. So we can add a build to this guy, modifications, and we're going to shut him down because I definitely don't want some mechanical centipede coming and trying to eat my face. I think that's uh, going to suck quite a bit. We just got a minigun. <laughs> oh my god. We actually got a minigun from that guy. Wow. That is something else. Although I'm, uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, a bit sad that we lost Toxos. He was our oldest guy. Yeah. He was our number one man. At least I think he was. 46, yeah. He was he was still young. He was still young to lose a life. We'll remember him greatly when we incinerate him. <laughs> oh, man. But we should get all of this uh, touched up. We'll get that bill shut down. I'm really gutted that we lost Toxos. Like, I don't actually know what he did, but I'm pretty sure he didn't do anything too special as far as the overview overview of Geeksville goes. I know, obviously, he was a main part of our econ economy, and uh, he was a colonist to be proud of, someone to look up to. But we will find the nearest person to take his weapon. So let's grab ourselves you. There we go. And uh, we've actually got ourselves a minigun now. So I don't know who I'm going to give the minigun to do. But I am guess it's probably going to be our best shot, which is Turtle. So Turtle's going to take our minigun, which is going to be kind of nice. So Turtle, come on over here, my friend. You're going to grab yourself a minigun, if I can find it. We might have to wait for this guy to get moved first, but yeah, we've we've got a minigun somewhere. Somewhere around is a minigun. Good stuff. You turn that guy off. Can you turn the guy off? Like, I'm really worried. Why would you want to stand there doing that? Oh, would you get him? Yeah, you got him. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> I can't believe they can just stand there doing that with some evil monstery minion right next to them waiting to, like, eat their face. Jesus. But, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. So, I've started working on a room down here. This is going to be our arts and crafts room. So, I know it sounds kind of weird as an arts and crafts room, but I can't really think of anything else to call it. So, we're going to have that there. And this is going to be going to be where we're going to use some of our devil strand that we've got to buy some funky clothes. Oh, that's a minigun right there. Where are you, Turtle? Is Turtle doing something? He is... Laying... Oh, he's laying the carpet. Alright, well, before you go to bed... My little friend, come and get yourself a minigun. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thompson, what have you got? You got a sniper rifle. Anyone that's got something that's a little bit rubbish, I'd prefer you to have an R4 charge rifle. Because the charge rifles are pretty good. Rough child, you've still got a pistol. Wow. All right, come get yourself a charge rifle. Jeez, I didn't realize you only had a pistol. 
<laughs> and that's going to give us some spare metal, and that's going to give us some spare plasteel, which can be great because all of that's going to go towards making our ship because our ship is starting to come along smoothly, although it's taking a little bit of time. You may be wondering why I asked for these trees to be cut down, purely to get our colonists to actually do something, because at the minute it's a bit of a low time. We've entered the winter phases, and there isn't a great deal we can do during winter, you know, it's all snowy outside, you get snow in your boots and your feet get cold, and you just don't like having that, so I want to keep people close, but uh, not so close that I'm like a smothering mother. No, we don't, we don't need that. Now let's get ourselves a door in here, we'd have a regular bog standard door with, and I don't even know what metal I got, I do this every time, marble, fine, we'll have a marble door, and we'll throw you right there, and uh, we're going to use a little bit of metal to do this, but that's fine, we're going to do that, and uh, this is where we're going to be, like I say, my arts and crafts room, so we're going to have things in there like the uh, the uh, table that allows us to make all the clothes, can't remember what it's called now, the tailor's workbench, and I'm thinking of even moving the smithing and sculptor stuff in there, but we'll have to wait and see, and an eclipse has begun. Ooh, very nice. So we'll get all that done. Let's also go ahead and set our zone. So we want to make sure that we have our home zone. Yeah, so everyone does their cleaning. Because if it's not clean, then I'm going to moan. And nobody wants me to moan. But, oh, I did also, I don't know if I did this in the last episode, I can't remember. But I set all of these to cotton. And we're going to see how much food we can, if we can basically live off of this. That actually reminds me, I need to do the sad thing of turning our bills down now because we, uh, don't need 65 anymore. That sucks. But yeah, I changed all these to cotton so that we could start building the flooring. And you can see that we've practically done all the flooring in this room, which is great. Now let's go ahead and do the flooring for the other room. So we want to go ahead and furniture, more floors. And we want red carpet. And you know what? I'm just going to do the whole shebang. Because they'll slowly make their way for it anyway. And uh, we have a decent amount of metal now. So let's look at what we can build for the ship because we're going to need to do this. So it's going to cost 800 steel and an AI persona core to make the computer. Oh, we've already got a computer core. A reactor engine is going to be 500 plus steel with ship engines being 200 with 400 steel and cryo sleeps are 500 steel each. So how much? We've got 207 plus steel, which isn't going to be much. That's a, that's a lot of plasteel. <laughs> like, that's a real lot of plasteel. I don't know if anyone's around at the minute. Let's have a look quickly, see if there's anybody chilling in. Nope. Nobody, but that's fine because that means we can at least start throwing down our engines So I'm thinking of having our engines kind of around here. The problem with the engines is because they're two They don't fit with anything <laughs> like literally don't fit I'm thinking of just putting them on the edges like this so we could have like one engine here And then we'd have like another engine here um, But like I said before you don't even have to do this like you could throw the engine here You could have pods here and have something sticking out over this way It really doesn't make a difference this, the way that you build your ship as long as you have the correct components on your ship, which is the most important bit. So I have like a group from Cambia Billa are visiting the colony, and uh, they're probably just going to eat all my food and use my tables. Very nice. So the main thing that we need to be doing is worrying about getting enough plasteel, and it doesn't. It, who's these? Trade shippers. Ooh, that could be handy. Let's grab Rough Child and see if they want. It. It's a combat supply, so they probably aren't going to have exactly what I'm after, but. Hey, if we can sell some of this, that's even better. So we'll get rid of you. We've actually got a load of M M24s. We can get rid of those now because we don't really need them. And I don't think they have... No, I really need Plasteel. Like, Plasteel is the number one Majigger that we're after. So I'm going to hold on to my money and not spend any of it because I would like to obviously get as much as I can. But once this room's done, we're going to lay it down. We'll start getting our stuff in there. The um, clothing that we're going to make should bring us a fairly decent amount of money. And it also means we're going to have less idle people. Although we don't actually have any idle people at the minute, which is kind of rare because we generally do have a couple lingering around, you know, twiddling their thumbs and wishing they could play a spot of golf. Not today. we got people doing things. What is this? Uh, a cluster. Ooh. Oh, that's money. Oh, that reminds me. My people are about to go and do something a minute ago before we got attacked and I told them to stop. What was I telling them to do? Something ground here I wanted. Oh, that is exactly what I wanted. All right, we'll grab that. And we're also going to want to grab this money. So we'll take all of that. Yeah, that should work. Although our people are going to have to like run off for... Uh, ages to get that which kind of sucks i don't like it when our people have to go off for miles on end because then they get hungry and they moan and if it's turtle 
all he does is moan, but he is probably my best shot, so, yeah. Alright, so we'll get that in there. Let's also get down to some lighting. So we're going to want some sun lamps. We'll have our first sun lamp here. Uh, no, we don't want sun lamps. Jeez, we want... Um, I don't know what I'm doing that for. We want standing lamps. So we'll have our first standing lamp here. And we'll have another standing lamp here. There we go. Good stuff. We'll get the flooring down first. We'll get the standing lamps in there so we have a little bit of light. And then we will add ourselves the tools that are required for us to make some beautiful clothing. Yes. Which is going to be very nice. How are we doing up here for this ship? Has anyone decided to start doing this? It doesn't look like it. They have just yet. A group from Nephew Small Town are passing by. Ooh. It looks like we have a lot of stuff going on at the minute. So while we have a lot of stuff going on at the minute, you know, we've got things getting built. We need this building. We've got trees cutting and resources gathering. Our people are going to neglect smaller tasks like cleaning. Although I did ask for the cleaning to be done. But they have at least gone ahead and fixed up the turrets. So we don't have to worry about too much about the turrets getting, uh, getting destroyed. Which would very much suck. I'm not sure if I want to bring anyone else to the colony yet, though, either, because if we have any more people coming to attack us, I don't really know if I want to be bringing them in. I'm quite happy with the amount that we have at the minute. Actually, tell a lie, we could do with one more person, because we now have an, un an empty bed. Everyone take a minute to remember Toxos. <laughs> the greatest hunter of all time. Unfortunately, got taken down by a minigun. At least he went down in a cool way, right? Not a uh, pistol or like one of those tribes people throwing a stick at him. At least he went down by a giant worm with a minigun. You gotta give him to that. I'll take that any day. That's a good way to go out. <laughs> Alright. So we should have this done soon. I'm just waiting for those to get done. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit more. I generally don't like having it at this speed, but when we have a lot of things that need to be done, it is helpful to have it at this speed. And you'll be able to see that a lot of our stuff isn't getting planted because we have people going off and gathering materials, but we should start getting a lot more metal yet. We can see we're at 1,088 metal now, which is always handy. We're also going to want this stuff to get hauled out because, well, you know, I don't want rubbish everywhere, so if you could please haul that out, thank you very much. And we're also going to want to get our smithing bench in, or our tailor's workbench? Yeah, cloth. And this does require power, so we're going to pop this guy here in the... Oh, no, we can't put it in the corner. Why can't we put it in the... Oh, the, the uh, thing's in the way. We'll put it... Kind of wanted it, like here. Well, I guess we could put it here, actually, yeah. We'll pop it here. There we go. And we'll get a little bench for one of our people, because if they're going to be working, they're going to need a little bench, aren't they? So we'll give them a little wooden bench. Oof. And this room is 8 degrees, whereas this is 20 degrees. It could do... I'm going to leave the... What was that all about? <laughs> Why did the lighting just go out? Have I hit my max... We're having power issues. Why are we having power issues? Am I really that low on power? I thought I had a lot of power. I guess I don't. Well, there you go. <laughs> I thought I had a really large amount of power, but I guess keeping those on really does drain it. Uh, a local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. All right, where's this uh, mental squirrel? Look at all that iron. I didn't realize there was all that compact steel there. Ooh, where is that? That's all the way up that way. Mmm. Me like either. Look at that. All right, this squirrel's about to go uh, proper Jackie Chan on us. So, Thompson. I don't know if he can kill this squirrel. Like, I know it sounds really stupid, but I don't know if he can. Oh, come on. You're not going to be able to do it, are you? You're going to have to melee it. Just punch it. Punch it in the face. Beat its legs. Tear its tail off. Swing it around like some sort of helicopter. You got this, Thompson. I have great faith that you can at least kill a squirrel. Thank the lords. <laughs> you could, uh, you know, you could at least haul the silver. I know you've probably had your eyes. Uh, actually, how are you doing? He had a bite in his torso. His right arm and his left leg have scratches. So, you know, grab the silver. Bring it back to base. We are a colony and all. We still need you to work, even though you've been gnawed on a little bit. And then you can make your way to the medical bed. And you'll be able to... Uh, be able to do a few, uh, you know, be able to get yourself patched up. Mental break soon, orange. Is this because you're observed rotting corpse? Uh, yeah, that can't really be helped. I send them to a place where there is corpses. I'm not going to prioritize bringing the corpses back. It's so far away, but he is going to have a proper moan about it. 
So, uh, but we've got most of the stuff brought over from there now. You can see we've got a decent amount of mail, 738 mail. We've spent some mail building the tailor's benches and items like that, but at least we're getting this done. And it looks like they brought a load of metal over to here. Yeah, steel 375 out of 400. So that's going to be done soon. We'll have our first engine attached to our ship, which is going to be great. Now, let's go ahead and set some priorities for this because I'd like to make myself some... I wonder how much we need for parkers, because parkers sell for a pretty decent amount, don't they? Let's have a look. So if we use Devil Strand, work amount 360, required 120 usable ingredients. Counts may vary for items with non-standard volumes like gold. So 120 usable ingredients, and we have 130. Are we really only going to be able to make one parker out of that? Like, that's, that's ridiculous. I spent ages making those crops. <laughs> what else can we make? Uh, can we make... How much does it make? It cost to make cowboy hats. 25. All right, we'll make cowboy hats. All right. And uh, we'll bring this up to 10 infinite. Um, yeah, just make as many cowboy hats as you can make with Devil Strand. I'll be happy with that. And then at least we can sell those and hopefully get a little bit of plastic. I doubt we're going to get a great deal for them, but Devil Strand is a pretty good, uh, pretty good for selling. Rough child, I'm going to need you to come with me in a second. But once you've fed Thompson, oh my god, there's blood everywhere, leaking out of his squirrel scratches. That's disgusting. All right, what can we sell? We've got a Uzi, which can be passed over, because you can have that. It's 95 silver. And you have absolutely nothing that I want. That is a golden spear that's worth 43,699. That is on a whole nother level of stupid. All right. <laughs> oh, look, he's doing it. He's going to make himself something. Oh, a group of tries people from the cry of the second river have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. How many? It's going to be a lot of them. Uh, they're all the way up over there. All right. Well, they're going to prepare for a little while, and then they're going to come and attack us. So, I don't think I have... Where are you guys going? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, you're going to grab this. No. Not at the minute, my friends. Very sorry that I have to t say uh, no to that, but I would like you to go back into the base. If I have anyone running out doing their thing, they're going to get caught in the crossfire. 100% guaranteed, but at least I got to see just then there's actually even more metal over this way, which is kind of cool. Where are they going? I would love it if they literally walked in and then just walked out again. <laughs> they walked in and was like, uh, yeah, no, no, I, I don't want anything to do with that. Here they come. All right, we're about to get attacked. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to try and do this a little bit faster than normal. So we're going to do that. I'm going to turn these lights off. Because we've run out of power a minute ago. I'm a little bit worried about that. And everyone's going to make their way up over here. And we're going to have a good old fight. I love a good old fight. Here we go. The one guy's already down. <laughs> he didn't last long at all. Yes. Come over this way. Ogre. Come over here. No one's managed to make it through yet. So we're looking pretty strong. Turtle, if you could go here. I want to try and get everyone firing, so we need to move them all forward a little bit. Uh, there we go. You come here. Can I get you, like, around here? Yes. Wow. They're, they're even refusing to come any further forward. They're like, no, I'm not, I'm not getting involved in that. <laughs> this is so good. Have we got anyone that's still alive? We have. We've got one living. Good times. And how everyone's doing now? Oh my god, we've got a man down. Zyph is down. Rescue him. Rescue Zyph. All right. Everyone's sorted. That's, uh, <laughs> he instantly starts cleaning. I love that. All right. So, let's make all of this available like we generally do. All the pikes, all the foods, all the bows. We can get these people hauled out of here. There we go. And who's alive? We've got two people that are alive. Which one is going to be best? Well, you know what? We'll grab all two of them and then we'll decide on which one we want to actually keep. One of these is going to be kept. The other one is going to go and do something else. So you can come and capture Raccoon. Is he called Raccoon? <laughs> He's called Raccoon. <laughs> I love that. And you can come and capture Landoa. 
There we go. Good stuff. And the rest of this can go. Is that just me or are they still breathing? They are, aren't they? It looks like they got little uh, puffs of breath coming out of them. Wow. I really hope they don't get back up because that would really scare the living daylights out of me. <laughs> they got back up. It's like, Ooh. I don't think the villagers would be able to handle that. I think their uh, their negative attitude would go through the roof. Uh, what's going on? Why are we getting loads of things? Oh, they're trying to heal them. All right. So let's have a look at these people. Health. We have this guy who is nervous. That's fine. I don't mind someone that's nervous. Generally, the nervous people are the harder workers. Um... Mining, shooting, and melee with social free and cooking free of construction and growing. What do we actually need? Like, is there anything I actually... I don't... Like, we're at a really happy, like, place at the minute. I wouldn't mind getting another hunter in case I need to do hunting. So maybe we'll take someone that's a good shot. So you're industrious and too smart. With three on shooting. Five on shooting and melee. Mining eight. Well, we're going to be doing some mining soon anyway, so... Yeah, we'll take Landoa. Is that a guy or a girl? It's a girl. All right, so we'll take her. And let's look at prisoners. So we'll try to recruit them. Friendly chat. Good stuff. And recruit... I need to make these medical beds, don't I? I always forget to do that. Let me click on it. Let me click on it. There we go. All right, and this guy here is going to get released. Uh, you know, actually, we'll keep him in for a little bit. Just so he gets better. And then we'll release him. So, who's moaning? Orange. Uh, Orange is the next turtle. Like, seriously, he's the guy to watch out for. Let's get all these turned off as well. There we go. Yeah, he's uh, properly been having a moan lately. Get these back on. Good stuff. And get this stuff hauled. Because it doesn't look like anyone's hauled it yet. Come on, haul the things. Good stuff. Alright. So, hopefully we'll be able to get someone to replace... The illustrious Toxos. Landoa looks like the person that we're going to be going with. She seems like a decent shot. Or someone that's willing to learn how to uh, wield a weapon. So I'm all about that. And she actually has a fairly decent melee. And I know I said I don't like melee. Now, I don't... It's not that I don't like it. I just find that 9 times out of 10 it's fairly useless. Because when you've got a load of guys coming at you, you don't really want to be sending one person to go and attack them head on. And if they've got past all of you and you've got this person in the back line, the chances are you've already lost the fight. So it doesn't really help there. And I've just realised this place is a stake. Can someone please clean this up? Bridges, thank you very much. Orange. Turtle. Oh, hey, alright, we're back. Who is, uh, what's wrong with you now? Did you observe some corpses? Did it make you cry? Did you not like the thought of it? Urgently hungry. I'll go and eat then. I don't know why they do this. They always moan about the silliest of things when they can quasely just go and get themselves some food. Uh, Lindo has developed an infection in her left arm. Ooh, it might actually be worth giving her some medicine. I don't... Have we got any medicine? Uh, we've got herbal medicine. You can... Uh, doctor's care. Yeah, you can have some herbal medicine. We'll rub a little bit of that fancy dirt on your arm and that'll get you feeling better. Is that her arm? Uh, yeah, her left arm. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that. Good stuff. And uh, once Raccoon's feeling better and he's up and about, we'll have him uh, released, which is going to be good. There we go. Giving him a little bit of the treatment. A little bit of loving for Landau right there. Good stuff. And how's our food doing? 346. Not bad. Not bad. Have we got our cowboy? Oh, look, we got cowboy hats. How cool is that? Like, I just want to put them on our people, but I think we should probably hold on to them for selling. And have we got our ship react? Oh, we have, look. Wow. That's kind of cool. So I don't really know how much power this, like... I, I, I'm not going to play with power until we have the other ship part made, the, uh, the reactor. Because I guess that's what's going to make the power for us, isn't it? So, yeah. But we will need a lot of steel before we can do that, so... We should have that done at some point. Why is there no plants there? Did they just cut all of it and then decide they didn't want to plant? It's a bit lazy. Like, we got power there. Do with the plants. Do with the plants. If you don't plant the stuff, you're not going to eat. Is Raccoon up? Raccoon is up. Alright, so we're going to do turn you back out of medical and we're going to go on prisoner and we're going to release you. 
and that should give us a little bit of a better standing with these horrible tribes people that keep trying to attack me. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's just see if there's anything lingering around in the base, because you never know, sometimes I can't see it. No. Now, there's a ball. A bit of ball bum. Get some squirrels. Loads of squirrels. There's no, like, big stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw some elk earlier, but I don't even know where they gone. Uh, there's that person from before. <laughs> Just pretend we didn't see that. Um... Yeah, that'll do. We'll keep a very close eye on it. We should be fine. Hopefully. But, yeah, I'm just going to have to keep a very close eye on the uh, foods. Because, you know, I'm kind of pushing my luck a little bit having two of these whole areas set to do cotton. Just so I can lay a carpet. But I do think it's going to look nice <laughs> when it is done. We'll have to wait for Turtle and John to uh, put their, uh, you know, get their hats on and go mental. And get, kill themselves some uh, raccoons and whatnot. And I'm not talking about the other raccoon. He should be gone by now. I'm actually surprised that he didn't have that thing about the Cambia village being nice to us. I don't know where this guy's gone, though. Like, he was starving, so i kind of worried he might not made it out of it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. That's not him, is it? No. All right. Well, you know what? We're, uh, I don't know where he's gone, but wherever he has gone, I can't see him. So, uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind. That's all I can say. Hopefully. Cool beans. Alright guys, well that's going to be that for today's episode, I think. We've made a decent... Raccoon. Why is Raccoon in here? Am I going mental or psych? Didn't we release Raccoon? We released Raccoon. Why is he back in here? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch that. I honestly have no idea. Did I tell him to go and grab him again? I don't know. Well, well, there you go. I'm going to go watch the video after this and I'll be like, Oh, I did that. Oh, now I remember. Yeah. But if he did just magically turn back up my base after I told them to set him free, then, uh, then yeah. Or did we actually lose someone? I don't think we did. Like, I don't see why anyone would have had a mental break. Except for Turtle. He's going to lose the plot in a minute. Hmm. Alright guys, that's going to be that for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've made loads and loads of hats, which is great. We'll be able to sell these at some point. We've also got a load of sticks and stones to be selling, which is great, as well as a few parkers and whatnot. And once we've got some dosh, we'll buy ourselves some plasteel, and we'll be able to start constructing more pieces to our ship, so we can eventually leave the planet, make our way into orbit, and off this hostile planet. Yes. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Have yourself a great day, have a good as always, and goodbye.